Hi and welcome to one of our tech tips from eTechnology. Today I'm going to show you a bit around how you can increase the level of security from your smart home camera and for this all you need is to open your e-home camera and check in the device list under the settings from your camera. So let's do that. In the first step I hit this icon right here and then I know in the very bottom part it says pin protection and that pin protection allows you to set it up so nobody else can view the live stream of your camera without knowing a pin code or even face ID or fingerprint in case your phone supports it. So let's do it. I go to the pin protection field and I toggle it on. So now I need to enter a pin for the first time. Just to explain it, I'm going to make a very easy one. One, two, three, four. And I will have to repeat it. One, two, three, four. And now I'm all set. That means whenever I want to access now the live stream of my camera, I cannot do it directly from the device list. I will need to enter that pin before the live stream pops up. Great! Now we set up the pin. Very easy one. One, two, three, four. Nice to remember. But in case you're as lazy as I am, then I suggest you to set up Face ID so you don't have to key in the pin every time you want to open the live stream. Let's do that. Below the pin protection, you will see Face ID. I toggle it on. I have to enter the pin once more, one, two, three, four, for this example being. And now, when I will enter the face ID, screen will be checked. So now we also see in the device list, the one camera where we now enter the pin is also locked. That means this is really great in case you're checking your e-home app in an environment where you don't want the people around you to see the last screen. Maybe you have a messy bedroom or you have a garden where you forgot to pick up all the leaves in fall time so no one around you can see it unless you hit the pin unlock. So now it's going to check my face. Going to do this really quick. It automatically enters the pin and now we're in the live stream which is great because without pin I can't enter it. If we go back and I want to change my settings now, it will also check for the pin verification. That means no one else can do any changes on your camera. Let's do this. Face ID check. Enters the pin automatically. And now, in case I got tired of the pin or I feel I don't need it anymore, I can turn it off. I have to enter the pin for once and for all. And now the entire magic is done. So if I check back in the live stream, now the lock screen is again an open screen and you immediately can see the last image of the frame. So that's it, how you can improve the security of your camera by setting a pin, face ID or fingerprint verification on top to your initial password when you enter your eHome app. If you have any other questions, please reach out to support at eTechnology.com via email. Our customer service team is always available for you. If you are keen to see other videos, tech insights or unboxing, please check our YouTube channel. We have really exciting things coming up regularly. Thank you for watching.